If you want to sear, broil, or grill, keep these things in mind for success. First, searing means heating oil in a very hot pan and then rolling meat, commonly a roast, around in it to brown the entire surface. Browning seals in the juices and adds flavor before roasting. The terms grilling and broiling are almost interchangeable. When you grill, the heat source is below the food. In broiling, it's above. Because both methods involve intense heat, they're best for thin pieces of meat or vegetables. Thick cuts of meat can burn on the outside before cooking on the inside. When you grill or broil, the food surface turns dark brown and develops a charcoal flavor. You do most broiling in an oven, about four to six inches from the heat. Always put the food, whatever it is, on a broiler pan whose top lets juices fall into a pan below. Before you fire up the barbecue grill, prepare some things first. Set up a small table right next to the grill with all your ingredients, utensils, serving platters, and so on. Clean the grill grate well with a wire brush before using it. A dirty grate can change the way your food tastes. Before lighting the fire, brush some vegetable oil over the grates to prevent food, particularly fish, from sticking. Watch out for flare-ups on the grill. Flare-ups are caused by grease from your meat hitting the hot coals or gas flame. Flare-ups are dangerous. They can also burn meat and give it a bad flavor. If you have flare-ups while you're grilling, mist the flames with water or put the cover on your grill to extinguish the flames. The grill cover comes in handy other times as well. When you secure your barbecue lid over the grill, it creates an oven that can exceed 450 degrees. Foods that take a long time to cook, chicken legs, thick slices of steak, and so on, grill faster and better with the lid on. The lid creates a smoky effect that wraps the food with aroma and flavor. But be sure to lift the lid frequently to check on your food. You don't want to burn it. Marinate your food before or during your grilling to add moisture and flavor, but don't put sweet barbecue sauces on meat until the last 10 minutes of grilling. Otherwise, the sugar in them may burn. Lastly, when you're done grilling, turn off the burners and make sure you shut off the valve that leads gas into your grill. After grilling on a charcoal grill, shut all the vents and close the lid to put out the hot coals.